Good morning, Sarah, and welcome to another day of the video diary. And it was raining earlier. It was like horrendously raining, but now it seems to have been clearing up, which is good news, it is. Basically, though, what's gone on today is I had it myself. Um, obviously, we got up. On, on, well, I didn't get up on time, actually. For a surprise, I was like really, really tired this morning, so I think I'm going to try and get to bed early uh, tonight. I went to bed like half two to three ish last night. I woke up really tired, like noticeably tired. So I'm going to try and do that. Um, Elsewise, went to lecture, did some maths. Math! Did some math! I'm actually really starting to like decision. There's only one of the four topics we've done so far that I don't particularly like, and um, only because it's hard. Lol. Um, the rest of it's pretty damn cool. I kind of like it. Um, it's kind of applicable, uh, which most maths isn't really applicable in, in everyday terms, but I guess that's because I do programming and it's applicable to programming. So this is called discrete mathematics for computation. Anyway. Anyway, I played Sar, came back here, and cooked Mama Cat some cheese and toast. She did my soup, and I made her some Jamie Michelin star level cheese and toast, and she liked it because obviously it's me. I do amazing cheese and toast. It's my job. Um, so, hello. So that happened, and then I then we found out that we're going. We're going to go later. We're going to go look at a house. What? What? For accommodation in our second year, we're going to go and just look around a house, just for the lols. And um, we've heard that it's silly buying it now, because one, there's less choice, two, it's more expensive, and three, you've got to pay for, um, uh, what have you got to pay for? You've got to pay agency fees, which you don't have to pay after Christmas. Um, but we're going to have a look around, we're going to decide what we like, what we need and stuff, and budgeting and things. It's going to be more exciting to have like a flat out in with the five of us. It's going to be the, oh, I can't wait. Else though, the nice accommodation lady has finally come around to have a look at one's chair and she she knows that it's one of the old ones and that it's not very good. So she said she's going to order me a new one but if I would like to bring my own from home then I can do so as long as I email this this person on this post-it note here to ask them. So I might email them over Christmas and just say look, deal with it and bring my other chair. Depends which one is more comfortable I think. I'll, I'll remember to sample these before I go back and then I'll get that one and then we'll find out to see which one I prefer. Um, so yeah, otherwise I'm trying to motivate myself. I've rendered out a couple of gaming videos, done the gaming channel um, uh, upload. What? I've done the upload for the gaming channel and I've rendered out a couple more in advance. Um, and I'm just trying to like generate the motivation to do some work because yesterday's a really worky day. I seem to have like immensely worky days and then like slack. It's not good. It's not good. You need to be constantly... You need to free up some time. I need to free up some free time for lovely. So, yes. That's the plan, Stan. Stanathy. Um, I'm going okay. to talk to you in a bit then. Oh, I've got an itchy back. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, so we're going to... I'm going to get into the zone. I've got to teach myself some Java. It's Java day today. Java day. Because Java's bloody damn well hard and it's bloody scary as well. So I'm going to go over my Java notes from the lecture. Um, Make sure they all make sense, and then I'm going to do some lab sheets. Practice programming, the not Java, because that's the best way to learn is to practice programming. It's just a steep learning curve with Java compared to what I'm used to. So, yeah, balls to it. I'm amazing at programming. It'll be easy to do. Here you go. <laughs> all right, I'm just, I'm just. I'm just Collecting data apparently about the new house. Well, no, well, potential. What? <laughs> I've already become attached, guys. It's that office. It's incredible. It's the same as your thing. It's a bit weird because it's people's house. She does YouTube. Mother jogger. There are like two, three. Three big bedrooms and then one small one. So this one is like the secondary small one. So you can have like Atlas in here, you can have like an office. Oh my god. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. Interesting choice of poster. Not quite as cool as the DFTBA one. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the, we think, the biggest, I think. This one. Oh, there's only four. Oh, shiz, still storage. And then finally, oh, the last stairs, it's a bloody thin. Oh, I can imagine doing this when you're, you're a little bit intoxicated. Don't watch your head, because it's a little bit tight. And then this is the, the last one, Philip DeFranco poster. The YouTube references here, man. The woman downstairs, as you around, she does YouTube. I don't know her channel, I don't want to ask. It's a bit awkward. I might ask, oh my god. Um, yeah, done. Bit weird, really, just looking around 
there's a round of students flat. It was a bit strange. Um, <clears throat> I didn't even ask her either. The way I knew she had like, hey, she was editing on a computer and they've got like the FTBA posters. Like that one, like, what? It was, it was incredible. I really should have mentioned that or something. My arms were really hurting as well. <clears throat> okay then, so what did we think of the place? We thought it was pretty good. Um, the problem was it's four bedroom, there's five of us. Although Beth and Ben are uh, willing to share, it's obviously preferable that they don't. Um, so we're still hunting, we're still on the hunt for a five bedroom, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but otherwise, it's relatively okay. We've been, we literally came back, we went uh, shopping, picked up some stuff, and then went, um, came back here for dinner. And then after dinner, we did a load of like house hunting on the internet and stuff, setting up appointments to go and look around them and things. We need to have an idea about which ones we want because we want to figure it out before Christmas because after Christmas we've got exams and shiz, miniz so we want to get sorted and all cleared up as soon as possible basically but anyway we came back from dinner my arms, damn it <clears throat> we came back for dinner and I had the best dinner oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god I said I was going to show you what the dinner was but then I never did, I never got round to it but it was, it was lamb steak on the bone with mint sauce, mashed potato, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots and gravy mm -hmm. Lamb is the meat of the gods, just to clarify here, and it was absolutely freaking delicious, it was. It was absolutely freaking delicious, I freaking bossed it. So I was ever so proud of myself once that was finished and all completo, and um, yeah, then we did the watching, sorted out the things. I also had pudding uh, while I was at the shop. I noticed they had like a new flavour of the love tub things that me and Lovely normally have. Uh, they, had only, they only have the small ones at the uh, store down here. Um, and they do an orange flavoured one, and it was delicious. Not gonna lie, it was a little bit delicious. So I may suggest it if we can possibly find it. We've got to try and find somewhere who does the big ones because they're so nice. And then we share it and it's all like all snuggly eating chocolate cake. So fat. And by we, I mean me. Um, yeah, so then that was cool. We did that and then we basically spent hours looking at looking at houses and stuff. And I'm like, I need to do work, but I want to stay with you looking for houses because this is fun and oh my God. And then um, we played cards, we played with of games and then me and Ben got into like a press up contest and he won because I'm a weed and my arms now hurt although I showed him swimming press ups and he couldn't do swimming press ups rock and roll so yeah that's been my day really I'm about to go to bed it's nearly two o'clock in the morning I've done a depressingly little amount of work today depressingly little I am properly up against it like seriously seriously up against it we need to buckle the fridge down tomorrow I'm not even kidding. Like on Friday, we probably won't go. I was going to postpone going down to the Christmas thingy till Friday, but it's not doable. Not doable. I can't go there uh, on Friday if my work stays the same, and there's no way I'll be able to get it all done tomorrow. So it looks like I'm going to be busy Friday. So yeah, that's 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 the way things are going. I'm afraid. Lol. Um, but yeah, we'll spend all of tomorrow working. I was going to go out tomorrow. I've got a text message, Jesus. At one o'clock in the morning. Oh no, ten past one. Oh dear. Uh, hello. It's lovely, just texted me out of the blue, bless her. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to bed. What I was talking about is before I got sidetracked. Uh, yeah, I was going to go out. It was the computer science social drinking thing. Um, but I don't really, really want to. Because it involves going out, like dressed up as Rayman. As I've decided to go as Rayman. And then being like made to drink things and yeah I don't really want particularly kind of want to just hide away because I've got a lot of work to do but I really want to go out as well I really 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 want to go out so yeah anyway then I am going to go to bed like I said earlier because I need to get some sleep because tomorrow is a long long day and it's going to be freaking busy freaking hard work <sighs> wake up bright and early bright and fresh and ready to go ready to work catch you later